Hello and welcome. This is the Property Show, your one-stop source for the sharpest investment advice, the best real estate projects, and the top industry news and views that you can't miss. I'm Vasudha Sharma, and joining me in the studio, Golf Pandey, Senior Vice President and Head of Research and Consulting at Prop Equity. He's the man behind all the solid data on the show, and he's going to make sure that you get a bang for your buck when you go buy a property. Coming up on the show today. We'll shortlist smart investment options in some of the best developed micro markets of Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Top of the chart homes at hot locations in Bengaluru and Chennai. From the west to the east, prime properties in Jaipur and Kolkata. And the Greater Faridabad or Neherpar micro market in the national capital region hits another roadblock. We'll get you a ground report on what's stalling the development here. Let's begin the show with a deep dive into Mumbai and Navi Mumbai and our first caller is on the line it's Shanil Sinha hi Shanil how can we help you Yeah hi Vasudha uh, actually my younger brother is in Indian Air Force and uh, we came to know about a company called Jupiter Infra who is developing some property near New Panvel so they are into like 1 BHK and 2 BHK uh, small flats like around 800 square feet, square, square feet. So I wanted to know that if that area is good enough to invest right now or not. Okay, uh, New Panvel, one of uh, the international airport, the Reliance SEZ, key factors driving this market. Um, where do you see this market headed? Uh, so uh, first of all, whenever it comes from someone from the armed forces, you know, you have, you, you, you know, if I were to know this, I would you know uh, relook at specific project he's looking at. Uh, from the email query, he was looking at uh, the Panvel New Panvel region, and mm. in his budget, he can actually get good options in Panvel itself. So okay. he can look at uh, Panvel micro market, and we'll give you some interesting recommendations. So first, let me give you a snapshot of the micro market. Panvel has about 59 projects, a total supply of 10,394 units. Available units would be about 2,585 units. Uh, just around a comfort range of inventory overhang of 24 months. Uh, this is a mid-segment market. Uh, the typical weighted average price in this uh, region would be about 4,779 per square feet. Uh, if you see Panvel as a region, uh, price appreciation has been reasonable. Uh, this micro market has appreciated by about 34% in the last two and a half years. And uh, we have found some interesting recommendations for you uh, from good developers. Uh, so first recommendation is a project called Avior uh, Next Zone Township uh, for Marathon Reality. It's located in Panvel, trading at about 4,571 square per square feet. Uh, the units would be about 192 in the project and units are actually available from the developer. Project is getting completed sometime in 2015. Uh, this is about 3.5 kilometers from the Panvel station. So surely a good option you can look at. Uh, the second recommendation that we have is a project called Neelkant Vishwa Phase 2 from Neelkant Group. Uh, this is trading at about 4500 rupees a square feet. You have about 342 units. Uh, this is getting completed by about uh, December of this year. Units are available from the developer and it's on the uh, Vichumbi Road about 2.5 uh, kilometers from the railway station and about 2 kilometers from the Mumbai Pune Expressway Highway. Uh, the third recommendation that we have for you is a project called Greens Phase 3 from India Bulls. Uh, it's again located in Panvel, trading at about slightly higher range, 5 to 5 zero per square feet. This is a large township, you have 2100 units. Uh, units are surely available from the developer. This will get completed by around 2016. Uh, it is in the NH4 Old Mumbai Pune Expressway and uh, Mumbai Pune Expressway. It's adjacent to the upcoming Somathani Railway Station and about 5 kilometers from the Panvel station. So you can look at these interesting options in Panvel, proper Panvel. Okay, so and a proposed international airport, uh, there's an intercity terminal coming up. Sure. But both these infrastructure projects are, are yet to take off. Sure, it, sure, it'll be a sure. good five, six years. Sure. So given that in mind, should we keep a long-term view on Panvel? See, uh, if you look at uh, what is driving Panvel grocery, you're right, you know, these are two, three infrastructure initiatives which has you know brought a lot of attention. But uh, Panvel has kind of taken off from there, you know, because uh, thanks to Mumbai property prices, you don't have too much options in the affordable range so mm -hmm. northern suburbs and you know navi mumbai is to thanes you know people are actually looking at mm -hmm. so uh, if you're looking for anything between medium to long term perspective panvel is a is a good option and uh, hopefully uh, with, the, with some period of time uh, when infrastructure growth story goes to the next level you'll see good amount of capital price appreciation okay so um, shanil panvel <coughs> has good prospects for the future it is a three to four year bet but you can take your pick 
from projects like Avior by Next Zone Township by Marathon Realty and there's Neelkant Vishwa Phase 2 by Neelkant Group and Greens Phase 3 by India Boots. Okay, Vandana Suri emailed us with her question. She says, I'm looking for a 2 BHK in Andheri East or West. She works and lives on rent in Andheri East, but she would like to move into a new apartment by the end of this year. She has a budget of 1.5 crores. She says, I'm open to 2 BHKs in Andheri West also. She wants to know if she should uh, go with these locations or do we recommend Puvai or Goregaon? So what we'll do is, uh, it's a good budget and uh, we'll not uh, take you away from Andheri East. We'll found some options in Andheri East. Uh, you can also go to Goregaon East if you're looking at slightly different price points. And uh, uh, Andheri East is a good location with about 24 projects. Uh, total supply of 3,225 units. Available would be about 656 units. Uh, a reasonable inventory overhang of just 21 months. This is a mid-luxury segment uh, and the price would be like 14,484 per square feet. Goregaon, which is a slightly more affordable option, uh, has about four projects. Total supply of 944 units. Uh, available would be about 275. Inventory overhang just around a comfort range of 24 months. Uh, this would be about 11,927 per square feet as a weighted average price. Andheri East has actually appreciated by a staggering 47% in the last two and a half years. And Goregaon East also, also has done quite well by about 39% in the same time period. Uh, we've got you some interesting recommendations, uh, two in Go Andheri East and one in Goregaon. So the first recommendation that we have for you is a project called Blue Monarch uh, from Atul Projects in Andheri East. This is trading at about 11,500 per square feet. The total units are about 110. Uh, this is uh, completed very recently in March. You can actually go and have a look. It has presence of good social and civic infrastructure and uh, uh, you can get a good deal from the developer as I think there will be just a couple of units left. Uh, the second recommendation that we have for you is a project called Serene from Mantri Realty. It's again a very prominent developer. This project is in Goregaon East, trading at a lower range of 10,500 per square feet.